74. It's time to get uplifted this morning. And the National Zoo's giant panda uh, cub cannot hog all the attention. No, no. So today we're talking about ferrets. There are three black footed ferret babies and they just got their names. Hello. <laughs> From left to right, <clears throat> Aster and her brothers, Aspen and Swifty. That's so cute. The National Zoo held an online naming vote and more than 6,700 ballots were cast. The kits, that's what they're calling their babies, are raised at the Smithsonian Conservation Biology Institute in Front Royal, Virginia, where they were born two months ago. And they're part of a 40-year comeback story because this ferret species was thought to be extinct until 1981 when a single colony was discovered in Wyoming. Since then, more than 1,000 black-footed ferrets have been born at the Smithsonian Institute. So cute. But imagine like the, they're the last colony. <laughs> All right. So we have more information, Marcella. Mm -mm. The mother's name is Pot Pie. Okay. That's kind of cute. Mm -hmm. Love it. Um, and you see somebody holding them there, but they have limited um, interaction with humans because they will be released into the wild, I guess, to make sure those numbers stay yeah, up now. So. Good. All right, there they are. Look little at their cute little faces. Now, and I was saying to you, and I know we got to wrap, but um, I always just think of ferrets as pets. Like to think of them in the wild somewhere yeah. is. I know a, we had so many questions. We had so they many do? questions. What do they eat? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Where do they sleep? Well, they left us feeling uplifted, <laughs> so we want to share things that uplift you as well. You can email us at getuplifted at wusa9.com. Reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram or on our Get Up DC social pages, and join the conversation by using the hashtag #GetUpDC.